Okay, we open Adobe uh, Premiere Rush from Critical Out, and this is the user interface of that I want to. In this lesson, I want to explain how to create a new project and insert assets or uh, files. This is uh, the previous file that I already opened. You can control it. As you can see, this cloud shows that this is connected to the create cloud and I can access this file on your other device, for example, Macintosh, <coughs> iOS. Every settings, icons, and any tools is, are the same to all devices. And here, when you click to this to three dots, you can rename it, duplicate it, or turn off the synchron from Creative Cloud, or delete any anywhere in uh, clouds. Here you can new project. This is your uh, local hard drive, or you can access the cloud file that I insert them. This is here. Go into the Creative Cloud in the file and open synchron file. This is the folder that install your PC and, for example, this TC logo, I drop it here and automatically convert to the Create Cloud and now access that to any device that you want, okay? Or you can access your OneDrive or I access my <coughs> project from desktop that I, uh, somewhere that I located my clips there. Okay, this is my Premiere project files. You can insert PSD, PNG. In, you can insert PSD, but it insert as a PS, PNG file. It's not layered. It does not support layered. Here you can, uh, uh, for example, insert a MP4 file footage when you uh, dragging over this uh, footage. You can review that. It's very interesting. Click. It select one, two, three. In order, you can insert your MP4 file. And as you can see in this timeline, it says you import that uh, timeline. Here, you can uh, select your project name. Click on it. For example, TC2. Sorry, TC3. And here, you can uh, change your project setting. It's very simple. Just in this setting, you can specify the du uh, du dimension of your file. This is for, for example, exporting to YouTube and landscape. If you want to export in Instagram or you can, it's a mobile size. This is a tablet size. And this is an, um, a square aspect issue, one by one. Those settings, auto frame, it's very interesting. As you can see, <clears throat> This is a landscape version of your video and this is a mobile version of your video. It's automatically framed the most important uh, movement on your uh, clip. For example, this son or any person that uh, moves on your uh, video or clips. It's auto frame it. Or here, if it's uh, zooming or zoom out, it's pan and zoom the video for you. You can change those uh, these settings uh, in project. Don't worry. Just first, you can select the project setup here. Uh, uh, choose a landscape. Okay, and it's okay. It's the settings, but you can go back and insert an, another. For example, sounds. For example, this sound. As you can see, number four in order. And this sound going back. And for example, insert a PNG file. As you can see, it's number and order, or you can insert any image that you want. I insert 10 assets and 10 files to sound, three video, and five images. And after that, you can simply click, click, click create. And it's going to prepare, preparing our media, waiting for that. And as you can see, with a beautiful animation, it inserts your uh, files. As you can see, the environment of the uh, Premiere Rush is using for tablet and mobile, and it's very simple to use. Here's the timeline. And that's it. 
the next lesson I want to explain how to, it's what's the user interface and here all of your file that uh, uh, inserted or imported are stored here and you can access them or you can click and drag and delete all of them delete delete and you can insert them by clicking and dragging on your project or you can select them by order here or add again uh, I explain I uh, make tutorial about the rush in my Windows version but all of the settings buttons and settings are exactly similar to mobile and iOS and Macintosh because of that you can use it any in any device it's awesome we can add it to you okay that's it and I want to tell you another something a circle will be uh, rolling here that shows you uh, it's synchronized that for example I insert another app can go in here for inserting another you can hit plus and go to your media and for example insert those and add it's automatically sync your video as you can see the circle will be pop up and upload in uh, Adobe Create Cloud those project okay so you can click and add here as you can see the bottom are very big and you can insert audio or you can directly go to your media and here are assets and all of the assets project assets okay that's very nice and here you can go back to your home waiting to be loaded and this is our project here it's synced to cloud if you don't want to upload your file you want to uh, save it locally turn the sync off and after that you can uh, save your project locally i'll explain that hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.